We are seeing money and volume flowing out of Bitcoin right now. In this video, I'll be explaining exactly what that means for the cryptocurrency market and how you need to be absolutely prepared for what is to come here. I'm going to be doing my absolute best, keeping this one simple, professional, to the point, giving you the information that you need to know to be ready. Please get ready to protect your capital on the moves that are to come here on the Bitcoin chart. We are seeing local signs of weakness. OK, I'll be explaining how we can change that to strength, be aware of the opportunities and with this money flowing out of Bitcoin, where is it going right now? Well, as I can see, that money is flowing directly into altcoins, in particular, the meme altcoins. OK, so there are opportunities still within crypto, but Bitcoin is slowing down right now. The volume is, you know, at a standstill pretty much. Right. So I hope that you not only enjoy this video, but you can also learn something from this video. OK, and be prepared for what is to come. So this might be a little bit of a longer video than normal. But as always, you've got to pay absolute close attention to every word that I tell you, as I'll be sharing insights, knowledge and really preparing you here for what is to come. So without further said or do, let's get into what you're here for. That is the trades, that is the technical analysis, and that is, um, you know, what I'm looking for next. So from my last video for the public YouTube, wow, you know, I've definitely slowed down making public content, just focusing on the group right now, the champions and the internal structure. So, you know, the last video I made on the public here was, I think, over a week ago, but not that much has changed, really. Uh, we were looking at this local range, OK, and now Within that local range, we've obviously seen a bit of a breakdown. So I'm really looking at this area of the old range support coming in there around 27,500. We can see several touches of support, 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 support. Now flipping into resistance, resistance, resistance. What do we have on top of this? What well, I can see very clearly from the high that was made at 31K, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. Have a guess what? Lower high, lower high, lower high. <laughs> so we are definitely making lower highs. With on that, well, within that, my apologies, would be high, low, lower high, lower low. So we are seeing local bearish market structure, daily bearish market structure, and a loss of old range support into resistance. This is what is known as a sign of weakness. This is weakness locally on the Bitcoin chart. We are not seeing strength here. We are seeing lower highs and lower lows and, you know, unable to locally even break lower high structure. This does create an opportunity for strength to come into the market. But first of all, we need to chart to change this local market structure as the absolute minimum. Otherwise, or really simply, if that trend remains, we're going to be searching down for lower support levels. I do want to remind you the importance of 25K. This was obviously our range high for several months, right? 25K rejection, 25K rejection each time causing major moves to the downside. So we are coming into what I would class as an extremely important support zone around that $24,500, $25,000. is very pivotal and crucial for the bulls to hold. If, if they lose that, then I, I really foresee a very large drop to come. But as it stands, that hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> you know, that's something to bear in mind. And locally, what we could class as a sign of strength would be whether it searches for lower liquidity first or gets the reclaim need to see this 27700 zone reclaimed that would then be getting back into our old range low we'd be getting back into this value area low zone okay and for me the main thing that i'd be realizing that that is an important level not only because of the previous volume that we had there but because this lower high structures would be changed you know if we get back into here then that's going to be getting back into this lower high zone okay getting back into uh, changing market structure back into the range. Of course, we can be aware of that range point of control that was directly above price. So changing the market structure is not enough on its own, but it is the first sign of strength. Change the market structure, reclaim important resistance into the support and get back over that range point of control. Well, then that's going to look Well, that's going to basically be the first major sign of strength that we've seen now in several weeks. So you know, that's how I am preparing myself locally. Of course, I rec recognize right now there are less opportunities on Bitcoin. You know, 
a year ago, what we had 10, 20 trades a day on Bitcoin. The volatility was great. There were lots of trades to be had. Okay, now we're having you know two one trade a day okay sometimes you get a day with zero trades you have to be very i would say picky uh with the trades that you're taking you only really want to take the best okay uh <laughs> shout out to igor if you've struggled to find the best trades well this is the best one you've had this week uh would have been off of the failed auction to fill the cme gap failed auction to fill the CME gap. So where sometimes if you struggle with looking at the trades on Bitcoin, hey, we got daily updates every single day for you, right? <laughs> so yeah, these are these are things that you can definitely have to aid you. But just recognize that, yeah, right now, Bitcoin is slow. OK, there are not always going to be trades to be had and you want to be waiting for the absolute best and recognizing that there's less trades on Bitcoin, why not open up your eyes to where the money is flowing into right now? And that is the altcoins. And that's what I've personally been doing and what I am, you know, talk, going to be talking about now. And that is, you know, whether you're looking at, you know, for example, here, I'm, I'm trading Vinu coin. Do I know what Vinu coin is? No, I don't care what Vinu coin is. You know, then I started to trade, oh, is this Bob coin and Coco coin? Um, you know, I don't, I don't need to know what Coco coin is or Bob coin or Pepe coin or ladies coin. You know, these are all just kind of meme altcoins. They're where the volatility, that's where the hype is at the moment. Bitcoin's, you know, like a stable coin almost. So let's trade, the, let's do the technical analysis. Let's find good trade setups and let's take advantage of this volatility, right? This was a post that I posted in my group of the exact trade setup I'm looking for. And this is how it plays out. So the volatility is there. The opportunities are there. So it just requires, in my opinion, a little bit of, you know, re research, so to speak, of understanding where those opportunities are, where that volume is going. I know it's not hard to see that the volume on Bitcoin has definitely dried up in recent weeks. You can tell that by the volatility. Look today, 0.09% move. So what I would do personally is recognize okay i'm seeing maybe one trade a day on bitcoin right now let's remain patient for that level and that one trade and if it doesn't hit i won't take a trade on bitcoin what i will do is trade some of the altcoins so what i like to do come over here on bybit click on markets and then i can look at where the highest percentage moves are happening right now so i could start to trade dizu rond fmb okay what i would do is load up these charts over in trading view and recognize and start to see where where are the opportunities trading spot trading derivatives you know all i want to see is the high volatility coco again today up 11 percent you know this is the coin that i was looking at last week to my team okay this is coco you know this was you know three or four days ago now five days ago and today coco were up another 11 percent Okay, so the opportunities are there. It's just right now they're not so much in Bitcoin. It's not a bad thing, by the way. It's just, hey, you don't need to be looking at Bitcoin all day when there's a lot of new altcoins to be trading, in my opinion. And so, yeah, simple fact, money flowing out of Bitcoin, take it a little bit slower, recognize the only the best opportunities, the best levels to be waiting for. Okay, and in the meantime, there are altcoins to be trading. And well, I suppose if you don't like trading altcoins, there is still the stock market. This was my post over a week ago talking about uh, <laughs> NVIDIA. I mean, we all know how much I love NVIDIA, but this was me saying, let's go for another all-time high on NVIDIA. And you all know what happened next, right? Yeah, yesterday, NVIDIA hits a new all-time high. I was longing the absolute love of NVIDIA going for a new all-time high. That, that, that hit an all-time high yesterday. That's over 200% move to the upside. So yeah, whether it's stocks, whether it's moving over into the alts, I think right now you just need to recognize Bitcoin is not the asset with, you know, a lot of different trades to be had with massive volatility. It's not a bad thing, but as I want to just wrap up this Bitcoin segment and it will be telling you, actually, no, let me do one announcement and then I will wrap it up by giving my not thoughts what's happening next on Bitcoin. And that is really simply to tell you, um, we have added in now a weekly altcoin session. Uh, so obviously we recognize this is where the opportunity is right now. People are going to want to know about altcoins. That's what I've been talking about. This the setups that I've been sharing. So we've added in a weekly altcoin live stream now. So every week you can check, check in on the alts. Even the setups from yesterday have already had one play out in profits. So yeah, whether you want to now get involved on these new meme altcoins, recognize opportunities, find setups, or well, we've now added in a new a new another new feature to our service at chart champions that is a weekly altcoin 
dedicated live stream. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy that one. And that's what I just wanted to make you aware of, as well as Severance new sculpting trading strategy absolutely wonderful this one this has received insane amount of feedback you can see the profits that can be made on this absolutely incredible uh, so yeah this is a brand new strategy from coach severin and that's available also to learn at chart champions so whether you want to learn new strategies see the new opportunities on altcoins that's all available over on the website chartchampions.com for you bringing it back to bitcoin to wrap up what i'm going to call like the major opportunities to come so i've i've, I've, I've made my initial thoughts fairly clear right now we are seeing bearish market structure we have definitely seen a decline in volume and a decline in price so what are we looking for next well naturally we'll either see this bearish market structure continue downwards well i think it's fairly obvious right i think a lot of people are looking at this level between 25 300 which was our old range high okay this was our old range high zone 25,000 you can see here 25,250 so around that 25,300 is a zone I think everybody's aware of as a major resistance potential support flip right and that lower daily giving us the lowest daily level of that zone at 24,366 this is such a major level of support OK, because if lost, I do foresee a very large move to the downside. That for me would be extremely bearish, at least locally. Well, I would expect a very, very large move down. OK, um, so, yeah, for me, you know, I'm not that I'm not saying that's happening yet. Right. We haven't lost that support, but losing that support zone, I really feel is, is very bad indeed. Uh, alternatively, we managed to change the market structure here. We get back into our old range. OK, we get that market structure shift. We get above this big, big resistance now and flip it back into support. Well, then we can simply keep remaining to trade this range. OK, this is nothing difficult, really. It just requires a lot of patience and a lot of emotional like what's the word I'm looking for? You just almost to remove those emotions. Right. If we get back into the range, why do you need to be having a bearish bias for 1000 Bitcoin? Right now, trade the range if we see a deviation from this range well then there's, there's there's no reason we can't be looking back up to thirty two thousand dollars okay but it's a game of probabilities and you need to adjust with what's happening on the chart you can't you know think about what was happening a month ago a year ago no, there's new data every day so let's adjust to that data let's trade that data if we are unable to change market structure let's search down for our next major support zone if we lose that well I think that's very bearish indeed. <laughs> Alternatively, we hold support, we get a bounce, maybe even a SFP, okay, swing failure pattern off of some lower levels and then go on to change market structure. Or we see a bounce from here. Our next major resistance zone would definitely be that around 27,700. Okay, then we'll be looking for around 28,800. Okay, that was, of course, our zone of that point of control. Okay, coming in exactly right now at 28,000. Okay, I know the monthly uh, VWAP though is uh, at the moment around 28,400. So that would be our next zone. But again, if we clear that, that's the value area high on the naked point of control. And if we get out of that, that is then this downwards channel broken out of. And we can look back up to 32K. So I think right now on Bitcoin, you want to remain a bit neutral a little bit. You know, just patient, happy to see the decline in price for an opportunity, or happy to see the rise in price for an opportunity. I wouldn't be overly bullish or bearish here right now. Of course, locally, we have seen sign of weakness, but I'm just using this time basically to focus on altcoins, you know, produce more content and strategies for chart champions, to be honest with you. So where my time's going right now into the group and, you know, finding different altcoin setups, posting them and, you know, looking to make profits. I want to end with one final good bit of news for you all. And this is something that I feel everybody can smile and be happy about uh, because it's always heartwarming. And that is the good news. Um, some of you may or may not know about this, but we've obviously been giving donations and helping different people out. And uh, one of them was for Isa, a little girl from Venezuela who, you know, awful situation, right? But well, it's with everybody with this, but, um, you know, had had cancer. And, you know, the, the very least we can do is offer a donation and help with that. Right. But the good news, you know, to bring it positively, the good news is that it's all gone very well. You know, such a strong kids, you know, wonderful family, good doctors have, um, you know, have have really helped her out. And, you know, this was a wonderful post today that we see over on on Instagram. <laughs> 
I love that. You can't see me, but it brings a big smile to my face. Like to see this this kid that's gone through such hardships, I think it just can remind us all that we all go through tough times, right? I say this to myself, like everybody goes through tough times. You cannot be you cannot be feeling happiness if you don't feel that sadness too. Right? There's always ups and downs. I think the the thing that I would remind everybody or just even remind myself here, just speaking to myself is, you know, stay strong, stay focused on your goals, um, you know, stay positive, look towards the future, okay, if bad things have happened recently, if bad things have happened, um, doesn't define who you are, uh, you can learn from these mistakes and you know, stay strong, stay positive, look towards the future and, and don't stop working, uh, don't stop improving and stay happy, stay positive, you know, keep that love in your heart, you know, there's bad people in the world, uh, there's also good people in the world, right, so surround yourself with the good people, the positive people, people that want to bring you up and, uh, you know, if you are in a place where you have nobody to bring you up, well, focus on your own goals, focus on your own happiness right now and, you know, with time, you'll make more friends, you'll make um, you know, if you focus on positivity and doing good things, that will reciprocate and, you know, good karma will come back to you. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to end with this really lovely bit of news that I saw this morning. Um, that yeah, little, little Issa is going to be able to go home. Uh, didn't have many, uh, complications with their chemotherapy and, you know, that just makes me very happy to, to see that. So, uh, yeah, you can't really see me, but, <laughs> You can imagine the tears that are coming from my eye. <laughs> yeah, makes me extremely happy. I uh, just want to yeah, shout out. I love everybody. And um, yeah, yeah, that's all I, all I can say. Bring it back to the technical analysis, right? If you want to see more from myself, you want to see more from the other coaches in the team, that's where we are right now, chartchampions.com. Whether it's the journals, whether it's the templates, the cheat sheets, whether it's the live trading streams, the new streams, the new strategies. <laughs> We haven't stopped working. We never will stop working. We want the best for you at the end of the day. We are putting in this time and effort to help you. You can really change your life if you learn to trade. And I mean that. If you put in the time and effort and dedication that's required, you will see the results. We are now better than we have ever been. This team is truly great. Truly profitable traders in front of your eyes. So, um, yeah, if you want that, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. That's all I'll say. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to Little Lisa, but yeah, shout out to everybody who's going through their struggles, man. Like, it's hard at times, but um, yeah, if you ever need a place to speak to people, well, you can definitely make some friends over in the community or, uh, you know, share your thoughts, share your worries. Psychology is a good section for that too, right? So uh, yeah, I want to end this positively. Thank you ever so much. Peace and love. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Let's stay focused on the charts and uh, look for the next best trades. You know, there is money to be had here. There is you know, trades and volatility, maybe not on Bitcoin right now, but in the altcoins for sure. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Cheers. That's me signing out. Hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.